Welcome, Citizen Graham. Outdated U-chip firmware detected. Firmware must be updated to use Union City facilities. I was about to return to give Ember a piece of my mind when... Transporting you to the nearest safety services. Stalkers had come into the city, but looking around, that didn't make any sense. This place was a paradise compared to the Union City I'd left all those years ago. Joey had certainly turned the place around. I had to find the Stalkers, and whoever he was, Graham was my only lead. I just had to sort out my U-chip problems first. Grundy, I trust you are well on this fine day. Actually... Aha! Uh -huh. Have you tried Dijon Buttercream Spankles? It's new. Sounds delightful. That's the spirit. Now, Mr. Grundy, we both know why you're here, don't we? Uh, I guess we do. Your firmware, it's ridiculously out of date. Let's get you sorted then, shall we? Go on, place your hand on the platform. Why should I? Oh, Graham, what a ridiculous question. How do you expect to access your messages? Or vote on important city issues? Or use the travel system? Please consent to the firmware update. Okay, here goes. Well... That's very strange. Morning. What's very strange? What's very strange? You said that's very strange a moment ago. Something about my data. I didn't. You said, what's very strange? I only said it because you said that's very strange. Great. What else can I do for you, Citizen Graham? There was something strange about the ID that I had acquired. While well, she may have lost the plot, I definitely hadn't. 
Listen, I don't know if you'll be able to help on this. I'm here to help. Okay. I'm looking for a child that went missing two days ago. And from which part of the city did this child go missing? He was from outside the city. I can only help you locate citizens. Thank you. Was I helpful? Yes. Would you like to fill out a survey? Absolutely not. Okay then. Keep a smile on your face, Graham. Now that I've dealt with my U-chip problem, I needed to find out more about my new identity. Graham Grundy. Hey, 2CU? I'm not 2CU. Oh, sorry. You look just like the one outside. Oh, so we all look alike, do we? Now hold on, I didn't mean that. You have to admit, though, you do look a lot like 2CU. My name is 1CU. One. We're totally different. Oh, so is 2CU like a, an upgrade? Like a, a better version of you? You're speaking to the first, an original, a numero uno community welfare droid. Tell me about the Council. The Council guides the Ministries, and through them, Union City. Everybody knows this. Sure. They do a good job, huh? Oh, yes. They look after us by day, and watch over us by night. Sounds like they're popular. Everybody loves the Council. Everybody? Oh, yeah. Even me? Even you, sir. Tell me about Joey. Before my time, I'm afraid, sir. You must know something. He brought the city out of darkness. Then the council took over. Precisely. Do you know anything about missing kids in Union City? There are no missing kids in Union City, sir. Really? Every single child in Union City is U-chipped and can be found at any moment. Period. What about an unchipped child from the Gap? Ha! <laughs> Not to worry, sir. You won't see that sword in here. I'm looking for a vehicle. The monopod station is situated at the entrance to the piazza. No, I I'm looking for a vehicle that came into the city. Well, it can't have come through here. The piazza is a strictly pedestrian zone. The vehicle I'm looking for has legs. Four, in fact. A vehicle with legs is called an animal. You definitely haven't seen it? Definitely. That's all for now. Enjoy your day, Citizen Graham. Hey, got a minute? For you, sir? I have all day. What can you tell me about the Council? Nothing that you won't have heard already. However, if you take a look behind my stall, you can catch a great view of the Citadel. The Citadel? Where the Council are based. It can be seen through the skyline right behind me. What do you do here? My name is Hollow. And it is my pleasure to serve the wonderful people of Union City on this glorious ast- and what are you... Well, social climbers can bring their aspiration brooches to me. And then what? I use this machine here to customize the hologram projected on the brooch. It... It's a real parade. What is an aspiration brooch? A special wearable reward to Union City's esteemed social cli... Courtesy of the Council. Yes, but what do they... The brooch permits entry to areas around the city, exclusive to social climbers such as the old history exhibit in the mute. It also tells your fellow citizens how great at gathering kudos you are. Have you heard anything about missing children? Oh my, that's above my pay grade. Are they social climbers? No, they were taken into the city from the Gap. Well, I certainly wouldn't have had anything to do with that. I'll see you later. I can't wait.
Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. I was enjoying my time in the piazza, but I doubted I'd learn much about Graham here. I'd never tell him, but Joey's statue looked magnificent. Union City wishes all citizens a happy aspiration day. Calling all social climbers. Customize your aspiration brooch here. Milo's trail was running cold. I needed to check out Graham's home. It's most excellent to see you again, Graham Grundy. The pleasure is all mine. How can I be of assistance today? Would you mind scanning my U-chip like you did before? But, Graham, your firmware is up to date. Humor me. Okay. Well, that's very strange. Okay. There, you just did it again. Because you asked me to humor you. I mean, you said that's very strange again. I assure you that I have a pers- It appeared that every time- she Is there anything else I can help you with? Until the next time. Please embark now. Now that I'd resolved my outdated U-chip problem, it was time to look deeper Welcome, into my Citizen alter Graham. ego, Graham. Where would you like to go? I knew Graham had some sort of connection to Milo's kidnapping. His home would be my best, in fact, my only lead. Take me to Graham, my home. Lakeview Apartments. Certainly, Citizen Graham. The city knew a lot more about Graham than I did. As I arrived masquerading as a dead man called Graham, I was apprehensive about what I would find. But I had no choice. I had to find the stalker. And whoever he was, Graham was my only lead.
The seal on the floor showed my buddy Joey just as I remembered him, when I left him in charge all those years ago. Watch where you're standing. What's your problem? <laughs> your face, for one. Excuse me. <laughs> well, if you hadn't been staring at the floor like a moron, you'd have seen me. I didn't catch your name. I'm your mama. <laughs> what? Do you know a guy called Graham Grundy? Nope. Sounds like a moron. In that case, let me introduce myself. Graham Grundy. Doesn't surprise me. Do you know where I can find Joey? Oh, I don't know, weirdo. They say he walked into the gap, or sailed across the sea. Either way, he abandoned us all in this place. You don't like it here? Needs more color, wouldn't you agree? Do you live here? Do I look like I live here? I'm not from around here. Maybe everyone here looks like you. Yeah? And what do I look like? Trouble. Keep walking. What happened after Joey left? Well, duh. Council runs the city now. I'll leave you to... Aw, really? I miss you. Yes, I'm... Hey, Dirtbag! What's your favorite color? Huh? You heard me. What's your favorite color? Green? Green? Green is not a creative color. Later, man purse. Later, uh... Backpack. Ha! <laughs> you got nothing! Clearly not everyone in Union City was quite as courteous as they were happy. Calling the already present elevator did nothing. No surprise there. Commencing spray. The picture showed an utterly unfamiliar scene from a bygone era. Water tank depleted. Commencing refill. Hey. What are you looking at? Nothing. Then... Water refill complete. Hold all was stained with paint. Looked like someone planned on doing some painting. Apologies, Citizen Graham. This is not your residence. Someone had spilt paint on the floor. Citizen Graham, this is not your residence.
Wait, I know that you chip. Oh my, is it really? Yes, it is. Master Graham, you have returned. How wonderful. Oh, good day, huh? I shall inform Madam and her guest that you have arrived. She will be so pleased. No, no, that won't be necessary. She will be overjoyed that you have finally returned to the bosom of the family. My apologies for the interruption, Madam Songbird. It's Master Graham. What about him, Chipworth? It appears he has arrived home, Madam. He has, but that's... Wonderful! Oh, thank Joey! My dear husband is back! Ah, I was hoping to meet you, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonzo, Ministry of Wellbeing. I was just here to investigate some irregularities. I'm sure my Graham needs a few moments to freshen up. Why don't I show you my Kudos records? I don't know who you are, but right now we're both in a lot of trouble. So for both our sakes, you'd better convince the Mentor that you're Graham. Um, yes, of course. I'll stall him. Just don't come through that door until you know enough about Graham to pass yourself off as him. Don't worry. You can count on me. I wasn't sure what I'd walked into. But if I was to convince anyone I was Graham, I needed to find out more about him. His job, his family, his state of mind. The mentor could ask me about anything. Information about Graham was scattered all over the place. All I had to do was look around. A shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. Rhythmic gymnastics, first place. Amethyst or purple glass? Either way, it looked expensive. Fairy tales, courtly romances, and art books. I was hit by the acrid smell of chemicals. A sword? The blade was cracked. I wondered if the people knew that Hobart agents had helped me save their city. I wondered if Graham self-medicated. When I came to Union City ten years ago, this was very much the case. These days, I wasn't so sure. Giant scorpions in the sewers, real or fake? <laughs> Unlikely. The tentacle monsters would have eaten them years ago. Anti-Hobart propaganda. Some things never change. How to survive a war? Better just to not be around to see them. A printer? It was rare to see one of those. I couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Looked like these photos were taken by the city walls. The 
box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. At least one person in the city appreciated a nice cup of coffee. Although I doubted Union City Blend contained even an ounce of actual coffee beans. Welcome back, Graham. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations! It has been noted that your height has increased. Adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. Error. Implant missing. Refreshing biomodification database. Please wait. Removing cardiac implant registration. Registering Shriebman port as new implant. The scanner had detected my Shriebman port, which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably fitter than Graham. That was good to know. Give me a checkup. Scanning. Your physical health is within the top percentile for a Union citizen. Congratulations. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any advice for me? A single can of Spankles contains more than your daily dietary requirements. Look for the clown. Drink Spankles. Keep a smile on your face. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. That's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Keep a smile on your face. I was a lot healthier than Graham. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had made some headway, but I still needed to know about Graham's work and social standing. After 10 years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. There was a boot print. Curious. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. So Graham was a cleaning supervisor? I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. Tempting. But I'd already had my monthly bath. Personally, I preferred an open fire for cooking. Definitely an improvement on the food dispensers they used to have here. Something told me the fire was not authentic. The trees in the gap weren't as pretty, but at least they were real. Excuse me, please. Hello. 
Hello there. Chipworth, wasn't it? Master Graham, may I say, sir, is looking even more fabulous than usual today? Why, thank you. Has Master Graham lost weight? Maybe. Does Master Graham look like he's lost weight? Oh, yes, sir. And it would appear sir has gained some height as well. <laughs> Bravo! Tell me, Chipworth, who was that woman just now? But that was sir's wife, Madam Songbird. Yes, of course. Uh, my wife. Is sir quite feeling himself? It's fine. I've just been having a difficult few days. How serendipitous that the well-being mentor is here then, is it not, sir? Chipworth, tell me everything you know about me. Request respectfully decline, sir. But aren't you my butler droid? Yes, sir. I have been sir's butler for a very long time. Then why can't you tell me? Standing orders, sir. Whose orders? You... Ah, nice try, sir. Almost had me. Graham had made sure his droid wouldn't talk. I had to do my own investigating. This mentor, what will he ask me about? The Ministry of Wellbeing is always concerned, sir, with a citizen's well-being. Well-being? That's right, sir. A citizen's health and happiness, their relationships and social life. All of the utmost importance to the Ministry. He might also inquire if sir needs any support in the workplace or similar. Why exactly was I selected? I believe sir's two-week-long work poll and social hiatus may have raised some concerns. Just be yourself, sir, and you will be fine. Of course, because I am Graham Grundy. Is this interview just going to be about me? Correct. The mentor is here to assess sir's well-being. And what happens if sir answers the questions incorrectly? Incorrectly, sir? Get them wrong? <laughs> How could sir possibly do that? Perhaps I hit my head on something. Ha! Very droll, sir. Very droll. Might I suggest that sir just be himself and it will all be fine? I didn't have long. I needed to learn about Graham Grundy. And fast. Tell me about that woman. A woman? Can sir possibly be referring to his good lady wife? Humor me. For instance, her name would be... Madam Songbird. Clearly, sir is not feeling quite himself today. Sir might recall he even forgot dear old Chipworth's name earlier. Who? Uh, me, sir. So, what do you do, Chipworth? Whatever sir desires. Can you move things with your mind? Sadly, sir, one's capabilities are restricted to the minutiae of domestic service. Shame. We are what we are, sir. At least as far as anyone else needs to know. Goodbye, Chipworth. Have a very special day, sir. Excuse me, please. I knew about Graham's health, 
but I still needed to find out about his work and social standing. Perhaps I'd find more on his personal terminal. I needed to find out more information if I wanted to avoid getting caught out. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I knew quite a bit about Graham's work and health, but I figured I could learn more if I found his kudos records. couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme.
You can tell a lot about a man from his shoes. In this case, that the man had no taste. A uniform like the one Graham's wife wore. It was cut for someone much larger. Council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. Cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories. Excuse me, please. A shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. Union City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. It seemed everybody in Union City had a kudos level. I still didn't have a clue about Graham's. Perhaps I'd find more on his personal terminal. I needed to find out more information if I wanted to avoid getting caught out. Excuse me, please? Rhythmic gymnastics, first place. I couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into.
a chart showing that Graham's Kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. I couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into. Excuse me, please. If I was going to convince the mentor, I had to be sure I knew enough about Graham. I couldn't keep them waiting any longer. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. Darling, I thought you were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham, always the romantic. But please don't kiss me until you've showered. Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso hear. Alonso? Monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? It was now or never. So, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me, in which ministry are you employed? Comfort. I'm a cleaning supervisor. Yes, of course. Ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42, cleaning supervisor with the Ministry of Comfort. Cleaning supervisors require Class C Exertive Activity Certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A plus now. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Now, obviously, your kudos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C plus right now. I note you used to be much higher. It isn't easy to keep up an A rating. A? I had you as B. Indeed, but it is Aspiration Day. <laughs> yes, of course. Clever. Well, that is all I need to check off. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. Of course. I appreciate the concern. So, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Deeper? Yes, right. By all means, Mentor. Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. The land train facility? It's a fine place to work. I'm sure it is. Department of Land Trains and Extra City Commerce. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your absence. Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. 
We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. <laughs> Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? My, my breast implants? Uh, I changed my mind. They kept getting in the way of my mop. Your what? He means your heart regulator, dear. Oh yes, of course. Nothing to worry about. As you can see, the beat goes on. Yes. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. Of course, your mental well-being is just as important to us. How are you getting on with your <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? You mean my street mime? It's a tough job. Everyone gives you the silent treatment. I meant the photography. Yes, Mentor. I will definitely do that. Although I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. Choosing to fiddle with knobs rather than availing of ministry recommended filters, stabilization, automatic archive, and data retrieval. All courtesy of Minos. If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. Ah, well. I have a busy day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little chat there. It's been a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't it? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. What? Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? Well? Okay, so... the last two weeks. I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have... bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere, still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two... Anomalous results here. Anomalous? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your U-chip. Any idea why? Mm, maybe it got damaged when I fell. Possibly. It's as plausible as everything else you've told me today. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a U-chip has been tampered with. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. Now, it's clear to me that your recent concussion has had some deleterious effects on your memory. You need some time to recuperate. Of course, Mentor. I shall see to it that he gets the care he needs. Oh, I have no doubt that you will. And to support you in this, I converted some of your kudos to grant you both some time off work. Our kudos? Wait, how much? Oh, <laughs> nothing too severe. Just enough to give you some time to reflect. You may notice a slight dip in your social tear, however. But the Aspiration Day Gala... tonight? Yes, won't it be something? I am so looking forward to it. Anyway, keep a smile on your face. You too? Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. What in the name of Joey do you call that sorry performance? Maybe I could have tried harder. Look, Buster, 
Everything was fine until you turned up. I'd dragged my kudos all the way up to Class B for that gala. I don't want time off. I want my gala tickets! If there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out sharpish before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? Whatever Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the Gap. The Gap? What was the idiot doing in the Gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh. A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure. And pigs fly. Listen, stranger. I'm sure you can understand this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. So I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but... This is my bedroom, and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Understood. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, 